Uh, hello, and this video I'll show you how to use this JITS. Uh, this is, uh, it means uh, tetrahedron based fragmentation. Uh, and there are not so much properties also right now on density and noise. And uh, this fragmentation type creates fragments based on tetrahedrons. Very simple, very low poly uh, fragments. And again, this uh, fragmentation type is not so useful if you will use it as this. It's much useful if you will use it with clustering. So there will be a special tutorial uh, about clustering. I just quickly show you what is the difference. So this is how your regular tetrahedron based fragments looks like. And this is how they looks like with uh, clustering. And you can see now it creates all these concave complex fragments. And the same applies for this. For, for the first example, I used density five. For next example, I set it to 10. This is how it looks like uh, without clustering, just a bunch of low poly fragments. And now I will turn on clustering again. Now I can see I get much more detailed fragments here. And again, here I increased my density to 20. Now it even takes some time to fragment and create all the objects. As you can see, there are, there are right now about oh, two. 1,800 fragments, so a lot of fragments, and obviously you won't need such high amount of fragments in your game, just as is. So let me delete it and turn on clustering and set here maybe 30 clusters, create noise, and you can see now you get all this noisy concave objects. Um, this obviously looks much more better than regular Voronoi fragments, which has all this flat uh, inner surface. But uh, the disadvantage of using this way is because these fragments will be really, really high poly, because as you can see, they keep all these uh, triangles. This will be fixed in next releases. We will optimize uh, the surface so there won't be so much triangles. But in any case, this fragmentation tab is very, very, uh, uh, it, it, it really provides a lot of uh, de detail, but uh, there are a lot of triangles also. So that's how it works with uh, clustering. And here's another example of game object again. Uh, I will increase the tail to 13. Fragment. And a bunch of you can see separate solo uh, tetrahedrons. But again, I will turn on clustering. Find amount of clusters I want. And now I get all this uh, concave fragments. So this is a tetrahedron based fragmentation with clustering. And in the next video, I will show you uh, how clustering works and will show you every property it provides. So um, thank you for watching.